hello friends just uh, today i am going to discuss hello friends just uh, today i am going to discuss like a this is a way like a how big is big data so one more thing just uh, for the computer science uh, and data scientist data is the now important as a writing a program according to ibm research approximately 2.5 quintillion bytes approx you can see the 2.5 extra bytes of data are created daily and uh, 90% of the world's uh, data was created in the last 2 years according to the idc the global data supply will reach 175 gigabytes it's a uh, equal 175 trillion gigabytes or 175 billion terabytes annually uh, so has been forecasted like a till uh, annually by year 2025 so let's see just uh, first we are going to discuss here the megabytes so 1 megabytes is about the 1 millions actually 2 to the power 20 bytes so many of the uh, of the files we use on a daily basis require one or more megabytes of storage some example include mp3 audio file high quality mp3 range from 1 to 2.4 mb per minute photo that's like a jpeg format photo taken on a di or on digital camera can require about 8 to 10 mb photos video a smartphone camera can record video at a various re resolution each minutes of a video can require many gigabytes of storage for example on one of our iphone and camera setting apps reports data 1080 p video this means pixel you can see just here okay so similarly so many things uh, and uh, if we are talking about like a gigabytes gb as a gigabytes so 1 gigabytes is about the thousands megabytes actually 2 to the power 30 byte a dual layer like a dvd can store up to 8.5 gb which translate to as much as 141 hours of mp3 audio approximately 1000 photo from 16 megapixel camera and approximately 7.7 minutes means uh, 1080 p video at 30 eps or approximately 2.85 minutes of 4k video at 30 eps so the current highest capacity ultra hd blu-ray disc can store up to 100 gb of video streaming a 4000 movie can use between 7 and 10 gb per hour highly compressed terabytes means 1 terabytes is about 1000 gigabytes it's a 2 to the power 40 bytes recent disk drive for desktop computer come in a size up to 15 terabyte which is equivalent to approximately 28 years of mp3 audio approximately 1.68 million photos from 
16 megapixel camera approximately 226 hours of 1080p video 30 eps so approximately 84 hours for 4000 video at 30 eps number of data now the large solid state drive ssd at 100 terabytes which can be stored 6.67 times and similarly we can see the petabyte extra bytes and gigabytes so there are nearly 4 billion people online creating about 2.5 quintillion bytes of data and each day is that 2500 petabytes or 2.5 extra bytes according to a March 2016 analytics week article within five years there will be over 550 billion devices connected to the internet and by 2020 we will be producing 1.7 megabytes of new data entry second for every person on the planets at today's number approximately 7.7 .7 billion people so 13 petabytes of the new data per seconds 780 petabytes per minute 46,800 petabytes per hour 46.8 extra bytes and 1,123 extra byte per day that 1.123 jettabytes like a gb per day each jettabyte is about the 1000 extra bytes so that is the equivalent over the 5.5 million hours over the 6000 year of 4000 video every day approximately 116 billion photo every day So for the real time sense the big data and let's we can check the so many like uh, in ter internet live tax.com and the various statics so let's see here I am going to try like this and we will see from here it's good and now we'll try to see here it's connecting internet live stats.com it's a good try and you try to see like this one Retrieve data, retrieve data, Google retrieve today, search retrieve data, in test user retrieve retrieve data, so retrieve data, today retrieve email which has been sent in the one second. and you can see here like uh, this one so i hope you are un understanding so how we can check the data is going per second so one second you can see the internet live data do you know the google search in a one second mm, so let's see it will take time, don't worry, but we will, it's a one second, so retrieve the searching, the since see the opening, this page, yes, it's a, what is this, MRP, mm -hmm. trace, then scroll, Send. 
Yeah, it's a take a place and a scroll here. So you can see like a place. Then I am scrolling, but I am banned. Similarly, we can also see what and multi MRP Instagram tweets. Tumblr, you can if you want to see the Tumblr, it's possible to retrieve it. Don't worry, just eat it. Yeah, it's possible to, it can be taking a time. So, I hope it's a basic concept and you can understand what is this and how we can exactly get a big differences so if you go this side so just we can see additional big data stats and we will get here and tweet video views youtube photo uploaded instagrams and some data is the like a 2018 it's a year back here <laughs> similarly the nice infographic data never slip like a 6.0 showing the how much data generated every minutes so 4 lakh 73 and 400 tweets sent and a snapshot photo in the CO like a 1 stands 100,000 10,000 100,000 and thousands so google search you can see the spotify song system and to video watch one stands hundred thousand ten thousand log ten logs so you can see so let's see the computing the power over the year and data is getting the more massive and so is the computing power for processing it the performance of today processor is often measured in term of clocks floating point operation per second in early to mind 1990s the faster supercomputer speeds were measured in gigaflops like 10 to the power 9 plots by the late 1990 inter produced of first teraflops like 10 to the power 12 flops supercomputers so in the early to mine 2000 speed reached hundreds of teraflops then in 2008 IBM re released the first Beta flops, pin 10 to the power 15 flops, supercomputer. Currently, the fastest supercomputer, the IBM Summit, located in the Department of Energy, DOE, Oak Digit National Laboratory, is a capable of 122.3 beta flops. So, quantum computers is now under the development, theoretically, could operate at this one it need time shift speed to be the this one processing the world data requires in the lot of electricity so the data from the world internet connections is and another is the what is the opportunity in the big data the big data explosions is likely to the continue exponentially for years to come with the 50 billion computing device on the horizon we can only imagine how many more there will be over the next few decades it's 
crucial for a business government and uh, the military and even individual to get a handle on all this data it's interesting that the sum of the best writing about a big data data science artificial intelligence and more coming out distinguished business organization such as jp morgan mckinsey or more big data appeal to a big business is on denable given the rapidly accelerating a complacement many companies are making a significant investment and getting a valuable result through a technology in this book in this session so it's a big data machine learning deep learning in its natural language processing these are the important if you want to improve yourself in the future thank you for till here today